welcome back to another video this video is going to be the second part to the previous video in the last video I described how you can interface Raspberry Pi Sony IMX219 camera to FPGA and stream video over to the USB 3.0 connection over Cypress FX3 USB 3 controller this video is going to be the test video I'm going to show you how I have implemented capture at different resolution different frame rate Briefly, I'll be also discussing what are the challenges in implementing full-fledged USB 3 UVC camera. Right now on your screen, you can see this is the setup. The camera is pointing to this scene on my workbench right now. The reason for fan being here is that this camera sensor is really nice and can achieve pretty high speed at really low resolution. I have performed tests up to 1000 FPS at low resolution, although you can in theory reach higher than that if you are willing to go for the low in resolution so let's go ahead with the test I'll be showing you different test resolution and video taken at those resolution please remember as this camera does not have white balance correction no auto exposure no auto brightness control as well so I'll be controlling the exposure brightness manually and the white balance control is the subject of further improvements in the FPGA module as you may already know at high speed you need a lot of light so I have set up this 18 watt DIY LED light flooding the scene. This LED light is from one of my previous projects which I made few years back. It uses really nice Philips Luxion LEDs and each LED is around 3 watts. Total 6 LEDs giving us around 18 watts total. I'm driving at them around 14 watts. Let's jump into the videos. To test this camera in Linux environment, we'll be using this nice piece of software webcam OID the software webcam OID is specifically targeted towards the webcam why I'm not using VLC is as far as I know it does not allow various camera control you can see on your left source is selected to FX3 my C920 webcam is also listed and on the right hand side you can see YUB format resolution is full 8 megapixel this is the capture of 8 megapixel resolution 15 FPS this is the maximum allowed FPS and there are three controls possible for camera first is brightness control you can tone down or scale up the brightness second marked with saturation it's actually the exposure control you can manually set the exposure as I have mentioned earlier this kind of cameras are quite bare-bone so they don't allow any exposure control everything need to be controlled by the clock itself right now there is no algorithm implemented on the FPGA or on the CPU automatic exposure so that's why I have allowed manual exposure although UVC standard allow absolute and relative exposure control in the PTZ commands but because of they are tightly bound to the physical dimension so they were not suitable to use here in this scenario that's why I have mapped the saturation to the exposure control which is the integration time in the camera data sheet IMX219 data sheet describes total eight test patterns so this gamma value is mapped to the test pattern if you want to scroll through them first test pattern second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth if you go back to zero you'll be going back to the live mode this is the whole capture you can see having incorrect byte balance as I have mentioned earlier of course does not have automatic white balance as well there is no automatic white balance correction is implemented on the FPGA also that's why the image is a little bit yellowed automatic white balance exposure and other automatic controls are the subject of further improvements in the FPGA. let's set the different resolution Score to 1920 by 1080. Let's scale up the brightness a little bit, maybe exposure. At 1920 by 1080, there are two frame rates supported 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. If you want to look at the scope view this is how scope view looks you can see on the bottom DVM is counting the frame rate mentioning exactly 60 frame per second channel 1 which is yellow is clock green is data and the digital channels are showing the FPGA output 
these first two lines are embedded line information so they are being ignored as we start getting the image data from the camera sensor FPGA start outputting the data and you can see on the bottom it's 60 Hertz absolutely at 1920 by 1080 pixel let's go back let's see how it changes with 30 FPS now I have selected 30 FPS let's scale down the brightness a little bit this is how it looks on 30 FPS if you want to look at the whole frame these are two individual frames at 30 FPS looks Let's zoom back in this is the video at 1920 by 1080 let's look at 720 720 pixel resolution there are three frame rates supported 30 60 and 120 fps let's do 30 frame per second let's point the camera a little bit down if you go to higher frame rate this is how it looks my instrument display is flickering this flickering is coming from this flickering is coming from the LCD itself and if you want to look at the scope this is how it looks absolutely at 120 fps This is the 60 FPS video at same resolution. This is 640 by 480 video. This video is in 2x binning mode. Slower FPS. If you want to look at it. Let's set back to 200 FPS and look at the scope. This is how it looks on the scope. DVM frequency 200 Hz. Now comes the higher frame rate 6 at 640 and 128 Hz resolution. Camera supports up to 682 FPS. For on this FPS, you need a lot of light. So let me turn up the brightness slowly highest possible this is quite high and let's move down the camera focus on to the fan itself you can see at really a high gain because I don't have enough light you can see noise appears on the screen and let's look at the scope view this is how it looks dbm frequency 682 Hertz highest frame rate possible right now with the current configuration is at 640 by 78 pixel which is 1000 fps right now on your screen you can see scope view exactly at 1000 fps you need a lot of light let me move the light source near to the subject Now light source is more near to the subject. I believe the best picture quality which you get is at full frame. Let's slow down the brightness. Now we have moved back to the full frame, 15 FPS. If you want to look at the test pattern once again. when the test pattern is being transmitted this is how the scope view looks because images are basically same so they generate same pattern the 
that's all for this video this is a completely open source project more detail about this project can be found on my blog www.circuitbelly.com